When it comes to the massive business of pro sports, America leads. And where America leads, China is sure to follow. China's stunning modern rise is fueled by American-style commerce. In sports, U.S.-style football is the dominant leader in our country. Its value has exploded by 10 times in just the last 10 years. And more growth will certainly come from a shrinking international market. And with sports gambling now legal, Mark Cuban, among others, estimates that revenues will grow more than eight times again within five years. And the world's biggest potential market, China, is just getting started. Well, Marty Judge and his experienced team have staked a claim in football in China already. He's been a huge winner in business with his 50 plus years of the Judge Group, and Marty Judge took his core business into China more than 15 years ago. But about 10 years ago, Marty pivoted into the world of pro football, and a logical new dream sprang to life. Pro football in China. This is a happening. This is gonna be the biggest sport in China. His team was already on the ground in Shanghai and Beijing, and they began laying the groundwork, navigating the complex path in China to success. China's exploding middle class was just beginning to feel real money, beginning to spend their newfound wealth. Movies, expensive cars, designer clothing and jewelry were new spending options, but sports as an entertainment choice was and remains a vast market still ripe for development with unlimited return. The timing is right. Disposable income is flowing into Western-style commerce in China, and now President Xi himself is pushing to expand pro sports in China with a public mandate to invest in pro sports as a link between China and the U.S. He's a known advocate of the cultural power of sports, specifically the lessons of team sports, and football is the ultimate example. There's a political economic war going on with China and the U.S. Mine is more of a cultural movement. You know, I'm bringing American football to China. You know, that, that's going to make the Chinese look at America in a, a better way uh, with sports. And just like the Olympic brings all these countries together, I'm bringing football to China and Asia. And uh, it's... It's difficult because it's not there. Well, Marty Judge used his own personal wealth to fund the first two stages of a new China Arena Football League. First, with a trusted manager in Gary Morris already in Shanghai, they began the often confusing process of finding allies inside the Chinese government. Judge led or dispatched many missions to China and would gain the support and guidance of key officials. Major news conferences were held and broadcast. A newspaper column on football was placed in the China Daily. I know, I wrote it. Chinese websites were launched. Sales and marketing partnerships were created. American football in China is growing by leaps and bounds. Because of the sports movement within China, we're riding that tidal wave. In 2014, Marty sent his personal team of media professionals, football coaches, and personnel directors, sales and sponsorship executives, and new equity partners that included Ron Jaworski and Dick Vermeil to China to install formal programs of education, entertainment, and engagement. I went through the right channels. I was told what I had to do, and I took the time to do it. We went to the government, we went to the head of sports, uh, and they would not approve professional football for me uh, until I developed football in China. Because uh, there, they have no American football in China right now, it is the top one sport in the United States. So they think we can bring more sport from the United States to come to China and add more potential fans know that for the football, not only to start our game in China, but we also can use the media, use the TV to broadcast U.S. game in China. A week-long government-approved training session was staged at China's world-famous Beijing Sports University, the main training site of China's powerful Olympic sports programs. 
Chinese coaches and officials learned about the sport of American football through a judge-developed text, classroom, training video, and on-field educational sessions. In 2015, the first ever Chinese intercollegiate tournament was staged in Wuhan. Judges' marketing, media, and sales teams recruited fans, merchants, and sponsors to the week-long event with great success. The dream was becoming a reality. With full government support and assistance now, the CAFL Pro League was launched. An internationally televised draft of players from both the U.S. and China was held, and a combine training in three different Chinese cities commenced. The first CFL season was officially launched in a nationally televised press conference carried by the powerful iQIYI network. Marty himself fronted a whirlwind press tour, alerting the world and major U.S. networks about his new venture. Joining us now is Marty Judge, is the founder of Professional American Football uh, in China. And they signed on to televise the games. In 2016, teams representing six major Chinese cities competed in a round-robin tournament that touched fans live in the modern arenas of Beijing, Qingdao, Dalian, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, and Shanghai, all carried by American national networks and throughout Asia on iQIYI, to great reviews, ratings, and sparking a social media viral frenzy across the globe. Stefan Marbury joined the partnership group. The Chinese sports marketing giant, the Arena Group, signed on, as did Tencent Media. A ground game partnership was formed with football youth company Great Stone all across the nation. Individual team owners were then sought. Franchise operating packages were developed. Media partnerships were sealed. And then... The U.S. is on the brink of a coronavirus surge. Cases have been on the rise for several weeks. More cases of COVID-19 have been reported in the past four weeks than in the first six months of the pandemic. Now, the opportunity is again ripe. China and the world opening up. Investors with vision and capital are sought. But the groundwork has been done. The maze has been navigated. Nine years of human capital and experience have been spent and are at the ready for implementation. Our pro forma is available to you today. It tracks a five-year expansion of the CAFL from six teams in year one to 24 teams in year five. The main drivers of revenue are franchise fees before media, sponsorship, and advertising revenues take hold. We project profitability in year two with 15-fold growth over the next five years. There's 20 cities bigger than New York City in China. It's a gold mine, and I'm selling them for a million and a half per team for the first six. After that, it's two and a half million for the following four. Then as the league grows, it's going to be four, five, ten million. And the league's just going to get so rich with TV rights and, and with national advertisement. I mean, you have so many companies over here in the United States who want to sell their product in China. The chance to follow the legendary rise of the NFL is present again, all over again, in China. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to grow with us? The China Arena Football League. The time is now.